I Nation, what you say? Yeah, I give a chance, you know? Serious thing. One reason about this whole, the protest, the rioting and vibration, and get some clarification from that. So, um, to kickstart things off, right? The question I wanted to ask is that I, I view protest as a reactionary action that brings on other reactionary action from the system but it necessarily doesn't bring about systematic change that's right definitely you know protests protests demonstrations riots all these things are a language of the powerless you know and they can only communicate with the powerful with power you know that's the only language a powerful overstand you know so these things, as I said, they won't lead anywhere, only to a band-aid effect, you know, to cover up the immediate wound, and then things get back to normal until again they step on their throat or they step on their toe, and black people realize that racism really exists, because they live in denial and an indifference to racism, you know. Yeah. So, all right, so, um, obviously you've been viewing the things that are going on, right? And what I've been noticing is that the thing is twofold you have people who are really going out there to not um i guess with the intention to bring about change or bring uh light to certain actions that took place but at the same token you have many who are exploiting the situation and are doing things that are detrimental not only to the protesters the view of the protesters but cities on the whole yeah that is expected you know because even the whole thing like honestly i'm wondering if it's all scripted you know i'm wondering if this, this whole murder of George is all scripted if it was all a plan, part of the pandemic or, you know, or distraction from the pandemic or is even part of the pandemic, you know? Because they know the reactiveness of black people, you know? And they know how to trigger that. And they always use black people for scapegoat for even the bigger picture. You know, even when they want to implement draconic laws and their own people, they usually use black people to, you know, to jar for those laws or make those laws and all these things. So, it's a whole of things to wonder. But then even as you say now, the infiltration taking place with the burning and the looting, it's coming from all angles. You know, it's coming from, 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 from the right and it's coming both from the left, you know, of white supremacy, you know. So, it's supposed to show you that in, in the struggle of black people, the black people stands alone. You know, Marcus Garvey didn't allow white members in the UNIA. You know, so within the struggle for black people, for it to be truly successful, black people must stand alone. You know, white people can help, but the only way they can help is by going to your leaders. Don't come amongst black people. Go to your leaders who are responsible for the... the, 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 the the sustenance of white, of white supremacy and racism. You know, go to them and deal with them, you know. Don't come amongst black people because then you water it down. They get it distracted, you know. And I think that a lot of white people, they don't want to have that uncomfortable conversation with their brethren because you see it all the time is that white people may not necessarily be uh, racist or have a prejudice to them, but they... They don't they don't check it when it's done amongst them with their peers so they may have a vibe where they're you know accepting the people but their family's not but they don't check their family on certain negative views they have of other groups yeah because you see the reality of racism is that it's a part of least resistance you know being that black people are so powerless and not just powerless, but being that they have also internalized the racism. So it's become a part of least resistance. So people find it easier to be racist than not to be racist, you know? That's the reality because you can't be anti-Semitic. It's not easy to be anti-Semitic because the Jews make sure it's not easy for you to do that. You know, you could end up losing your job, losing your life, losing your career, losing your character, everything you could lose. You know, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you be anti-Semitic, but you can be racist so you don't lose nothing, you don't even lose your job, you can boldly kneel down for a man's neck for over eight minutes till him dead, you know, without showing no sign of remorse or no form of humanity or nothing at all, you know, no empathy, nothing, no regard, 
you know, because you know, say, yeah, there is no true penalty to pay because who we are doing it to is a powerless people. They have no power to really reprimand you. You know, you wouldn't do it to a Chinese, you know, because China have power. You know, maybe 50, 70, 80 years ago, maybe they tried to the Chinese, but no chairman Mao lock up, lock up China and within less than a century turn China into a world power. A guarantee the white supremacy couldn't do that to Chinese. You know, but everybody do everything to black people. We see all the Chinese them be with black people where they are. You know, you see a racist. It takes power to be racist. Black people do have that power. You know, and it takes power to stop racism. And black people still do have that power. The only time them get that power, them abandon it. Garvey gave them that power. The Pan African gave them that power. The Pan African is the only black man that white power respect, you know. Everybody else they have off as income pool. If you are not a Pan African white power, do not respect you. When a Pan African, we like a black lives no matter, not even to us. Yeah, that's not the... even to us. That at all we are shout out. If we no Pan African, that means that we don't have value our own life. We give to white power. So white people have all right to deal with it anyway, anyhow. So when black people say black lives matter. If black lives didn't matter, you would have been Pan African. Your dollar would have been Pan African because we live in an economic world. So your dollar, even if you your full lifestyle no whole Pan African, you would have make sure so your dollar is Pan African. Can you make a dollar Pan African? How long can you maintain a dollar Pan African? Then you start to have more power. Then you move away from the streets and pro- protests and riots. Then you can stay in your bedroom or in your boardroom or wherever and reprimand white supremacy or anybody who dare to be a threat to you or to offend you. You know, yeah, so that's power, t- power. Everything it takes power. You know, that's the that's the vibe. I um, that's the thing people need that clarification on. It's like a protest, a person a protest for change, right? But they don't want to go through the struggle that makes change. And I think in a capitalistic society, right. as you just said, the struggle is through changing our consumer, our consumption practices. People don't understand yeah. that they can truly That's hurt. A part of it, you know. A person yeah. can truly That's hurt because the boycotts that I'm familiar with that were successful were really economic boycotts where they didn't support a particular industry. Exactly. That is the only effective protest you can have a boycott. When you boycott white power and white power business, that is when you make a dollar pan African. That is the only effective protest. Going out in the streets, and the only way is why bearing and looting. Because we are not owners, we don't own nothing. We don't own the industry. We don't own the business. One and two, look, but we don't. Own, we're not owners. We are still workers and plantation black people. That's what we represent. We're not owners. The Jews are owners. The Chinese are owners. Whites are owners. Indians are owners. We are not owners. We don't even own our government. We don't even own our nation. Our same black leaders don't serve us. The same, the same, the same, the same oppressors. No black leader serve black people. All them serve the oppressor. So we don't have nothing. We don't own nothing. So that's why people them can easily infiltrate to protest and burn and loot and we get blamed. You know, because we are identifiers. We don't own nothing. So we quick to burn on everything. You never know, see the Chinese are burned on thing or the Jews are aware about burned on things. You know? And nobody would infiltrate for them demonstration and, and them get blamed for that. You know, but we, we continue because we keep on forsaking our solution, Pan African, Garvey. You know, and it now go in the next hundred years from this, it will continue. Hundred years ago, Garvey tell us all of these things that we forsake it. And we come on our experience. The next hundred years, it's not going to happen without a Garvey, without a Pan African idea. It's not going to ever change. Like you know, that, that is power. It, it, instead of pro, pro, uh, protesting and demonstrating and all that, or after that, or along with that, you mobilize, you organize, and centralize yourself on Africans. So all of the leaders that are protesting, they need to centralize, organize, and centralize themselves. And from there, you know, it's a Pan-African ID. You link up with the AU, come to the AU, make a statement with you, which is I'm so proud of. Then you even take it even a step further, because the AU must start function as the United States of Africa. The AU must recognize that they represent each and every single black person anywhere in the world. So no government and no institution and no individual can run in and deal with any black people or feel like, say, the a powerless people who have a broad back to defend them. No, the AU must be a broad back. 
And we don't want to ret- resort to violence and military means because we are not a violent people naturally. You know, it's something we're embedded in there and we learn from them. It's their language with them embedded in there. Just like how we learn them English and them French and all that. All of us learn different of them language. The only universal language they give to us is violence. All of us learn the violence and speak it to ourselves much more than we speak it to them. We don't speak it to them and to ourselves we speak the violence to so, them ever since from we learn it from them. You know, so we're not resort to violence. We are resort to our own self, our own harness, our own power, and our own iration and intelligence. You know what I'm saying? And it, diplomacy. Yeah. Is it, is it, it can re- be done and it will be done, you know? What, what strategy should we use? Because it seems like there's a real disconnect in regards to uh, people are African descent in regards to the self-love along with that understanding of that yo we really have to work together and support each other they don't understand that this this yearning they have for for material things is one of the things that keeps us in an oppressed state because we have no finances to invest to grow to turn over you know it's just we get the money and we give it right back we get the money and we give it right back and all of that is carried over upon African ideas you know it's when, we, when, we, when we had black power White power come and distracted us and gave us green power. And we see what we do with green power without a Pan African ideal or green power won't never ever help us. Because all our green power will take it back and give it back to white power and other power. How long does the, the, the dollar stay in the black community? As against how long it stay in other people's community. So it's not even the money or whatever, no matter what we have, we have a Pan African ideal, African centered conscious worldview. We are nincompoos in the eyes of white supremacy and Chinese and anybody else. Because everybody cling to them thing. And we alone forsake our thing and deal with so-called Eurocentric thing or whatever, world, world, world thing. We all get together and be all right thing. No, it can't happen like that. You have a first heal first before you can get together and be all right. And we're not heal. Pan-African is the vehicle for us to heal. It's a self-reliant vehicle, it's a self-reliant seat at the collective table, the collective security table. The collective security table where all peoples of the world are welcome. All of them will sit on them own self-reliant seat, you know? And Pan-Africanism is our self-reliant seat, so we can sit, sit equal amongst any other people and nobody look down for us. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like we're not worthy. Because we are the squatters of the earth, you know? We are not tenants like any other people. We are still the squatters of the earth. You know, the powerless squatters and until we face these realities and stop being denied of them true we have some of us might have this and have that or we might have access to this and that and you know we get bamboozled and thinking that the playing field is level and racism is something of the past and it's just you must put in your best and give your best and you can achieve the best now all these things are lose and the world is still governed by racism capitalism is racism is a half shoot of racism take away racism capitalism fall you know we have to just face this reality and stop being in denial. We have to say, go to Garvey, 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 Garvey. Replace Jesus Christ with Garvey. Garvey, 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 Garvey. And we have the answer. We need a generation. Who a generation from Garvey? Uh, if, you, if your leader is not Pan-African, they are cheated. You know what I'm saying? All I... over the world, black leaders, every country, you hear Jamaica. Cheaters them from independence come right up. You know? How you side up um how you side up this reach and blackout with the music industry? Uh, it, 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 how long can they do it? How long can they ben, maintain it? Is as, as I said, you know, how long can you keep your pan your dollar pan African? You know, it says not that's a real I see real a reaction, you know. We never strategically plan sit and plan this and say, all right, we need to mobilize yourself to get real power in this country and this world, you know. All right, we have a blackout and lock off all the re- 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 music from them to a week or whatever, or whatever or until certain resolution part. Or, no, we wait till the bubble and step and we throw them a jump. Up. You know, we are reactive people, we are not a proactive people. Our proactive leaders are facilitate them and continue to facilitate them and think them feel and then say, I really feel. Garvey never feel. You know what I'm saying? Jum- eh, eh, eh. Nkuma never feel. Leonard Owl never feel. You know, it's we continue the feeling. Malcolm X never feel. You know, Martin Luther and Enlighten the last half, he never feel. You know, it's uh, we continue to feel because we continue to associate them all time. Remember them at birthday and memorial. And, uh, we will not apply them philosophy and live it. You know, we, you know. And when white, white supremacy citizen does not say we are all idiots, yeah, you know, mean compose, you know. Uh, it's not the right to respect us. I jump over Black Lives Matter. <laughs> It's a laughing stock as far as we are concerned, brother, you know? 
No, serious thing. Well, fire, we give thanks for the time. You know, and um, let the people know about your book and where they can get your book. Or books, that is. Yeah, man, the books, them all over. That's a phone call away, because them said the world set away, you know. So, the number them WhatsApp and everything, 4663662, you know, 87624, that. And from the social media, them sign nation, you know. Yeah. What we are saying to people, I'm going to read this. Amos Wilson, in these times, go find Amos Wilson. Many ones, but particularly Amos Wilson in these times. Yeah, man, and Garvey, of course, you know, Garvey. But Amos Wilson, yes, you know, in, in kind of breastfeed, yeah, Garvey, you know. So, yeah, Garvey and Amos Wilson, I don't know the God Almighty, I just lost the eye. And, so, and know, one more I'm thing, are, are there any particular books you would recommend so people can understand yeah, political man, I got, theory? Yeah, man, I'm Amos Wilson, man. Amos Wilson, Amos Wilson. That's why I'm saying Amos Wilson. I'm kind of big into that. African centered consciousness versus the new world order. Everybody get that. Everybody, they have a link to you. I get it. Wherever you can get it. African centered conscious versus the new world order. Garvey is in the age of globalism. And it's a Garvey book, message to the people. Everybody should get that one. Even before you get philosophy, get that one. Message to the people. Garvey book. Is what I'm saying. An intellectual warfare by, by, by Jacob Carada. It's a beautiful book. You know, an instrumental book in these times. They have a book just come out on the Osiris papers. You know, it's a reflect on the ISIS papers. Everyone should get that one too. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I can't trust, man. But this Pan African, let's go to your, pan, your black leaders, your Pan African artists, them, and just read them up, up man. Show the Bible for a while, man. Let them be your Bible. Ra Una for a man, Metuna Ter, Living Lords of God. Yeah, man, that's, that's how you have to deal with it, you know? You have to start m- m- the real work for the generation and come and really read the fruits. Because right now, I'll be a rotten fruits I read from the past 500 years. You know what I'm saying? So if we know the next 100 years and the next 1,000 years, we have to get Pan-African. And that's the thing that there's no way around it. You know? No, that's s- all right. serious thing. Fire, we give thanks for the reasoning. That's all right. Love. That's all right. Thank you for watching I Never Knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.